Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us on this journey to love. And these are channeled letters, and um, the letter that I'm being guided to read is letter 152 that wants to come out. And so I thought I would do a really quick video because um, it, it's all about pushing the boundaries. And just as I um, say that, that <laughs> I'm just watching this program about, um, documentary about rock climbing and rock climbing in Yosemite. And just about the history of the rock climbing there and to do uh, the big wall, El Capitan. And at the end of it, it says, uh, it's brilliant, cause it says, because in the end, you won't remember the time you spent working in the office or mowing your lawn. Climb that goddamn mountain. <laughs> and we have so many messages about getting over the mountain. And you know, it's at the end, you know, it's right before you get to the peak that it gets really, really tough. And so that's a lot of the messages that we've been getting recently about being, if you're on this twin flame journey um, as well, that it's like, it's, you know, it's when you're getting to the top, you've just got to really, really dig deep. And so this is the message, 152. I'm sorry that it's taking me so long to get stuff together, to get me together. I've had a lot of learning, a lot of growing to do. Most of the time I feel like a frightened boy inside, frightened of messing up and wasting my life, but also frightened to make a move and do something about it. Be strong for me. I really need that. I need to see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that there's a light that will bring us back together. I really want to spend our lives together. You're the only one that I want to grow old with, spend each passing summer and winter with, spend my life with, share my life with. Please stay strong and be with me. So very in keeping with this like please stay strong please stay with me climb this goddamn mountain with me <laughs> so very in keeping with that so letter 152 that you are right your intuition and your instincts and your heart's calling is leading you back to me and it's leading us back to each other keep trusting in your heart and keep knowing that you'll be led back to me we will be led back to one another when our time is right. Listen with all your might to what is in your heart. Only trust the beat and the drum of your heart. Do not listen to your mind. Follow me. Follow us. Follow the light from your heart which is guiding us home. Trust in true love. Trust in true love. Trust in your heart, trust in what your heart is telling you, what your intuition is telling you. Don't second guess, just trust. And finally, letter 152 from book three is this, that I love you. You're my most special lobster, <laughs> the love of my very disorderly life. That's what's going on at the moment, a lot of disorder. I feel all jumbled up, like I've got a lot of pieces to sort out. But I can see why I need to sort them out, because ultimately I want to be with you. You fit me, we make our own jigsaw. I love how we feel together, like when that happens, the world stops and nothing else matters. Well, there you go. I can see where letter 152 needed to come out. The world stops. Nothing else matters. I, but, you know, and the other message is, you know, I feel all in a bit of a jumble at the moment. Um, but don't worry, because I am working on it, right? That is the message that they want to give. Don't worry. They are working on it. And I'm going to pull a Whispers of Love Oracle card to say okay what do they want to say what do they want to say what guidance do they want to give and it is ah oh, a new energy new love and look at that look she's wishing on a star shooting stars 
the message today was all about um, the stars are aligning. So, new love. Everything has a season. <laughs> Get ready as someone special is now in your life. If you are in a relationship, there is a burst of new energy coming into this partnership. This could also mean new energy in a place of employment or a great opportunity that is coming your way. So there you go, 26. That's the number that I was seeing all day today. So actually, I'm going to read 26 from the books because I was seeing that everywhere today, 26. So... There is nothing that I wouldn't do for you and nothing that I wouldn't give for you to wake up and remember us. Our creation, our birth as one soul into two physical bodies. I want that feeling of our bodies merging into blissful sexual ecstasy. A merging of our two souls back into one beautiful oversoul. That is what I so desperately want you to remember, that that is what we came here to do and what we came here to experience. True divine love in its purest and rawest form. The beauty of a sacred sexual union, transforming us, transforming our bodies, transforming our DNA as we mould into one. We will transform the world. Our love will have a transformational impact on all around us. Remember and wake up to that, to what we agreed to find in each other, divine love. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I just love it. Okay, 26 from book two. I want you to know everything about me, and I've never had that before with anyone, that I've felt comfortable enough to share my deepest thoughts, my deepest secrets, and not feel embarrassed or ashamed. That's why I love you so much. For the first time ever in my life, I really felt wanted, felt loved, felt understood. Felt like I mattered and I wasn't just a bystander for someone else or a stopgap. You made me feel like I was the most special person on earth and now I want to be that for you. I want to love you how we were made to love, with every ounce of our souls pouring out of our hearts, our bodies celebrating in each other, feeling each other's souls entwining with each other through our bodies in our sacred union. I want that. Well, so do I. Very much so. Okay, 26 from book three. Final one. You are my home. You are where I feel safe. I just wish that I had let myself relax and let myself go right from the beginning. Instead of letting go, though, I got scared and I put a barrier up around my heart. I pushed you away. Not because I didn't love you, it was because I was afraid of getting hurt. I so wished that I could have my time again and rewind to the beginning. I would tell you right from the off that you are my dream. I've waited you, for you for so long. I've found you and now I'm going to do everything I can to come home. You are my home. <laughs> There you go. Well, gorgeous message. I am very happy that I did that. So that's just made me feel very good. All right. Well, I hope that helps. And if you want to have a channel letter, it's only $10. Healings and readings are $20. And um, they are, yeah, $20 special at the moment. So if you want a healing or a reading or a channel letter, all details are in the link. And of course, if you want to take part in the TF storybook that I've been talking about, to share your story um, and to help others on this journey, then please do. All details are in the link. All right. Take care. Have a great one. Bye.